we have Innovation Academy with our partners at IBM and our youngest learners are going to the IBM campus and they're working with engineers on solutions for a smarter planet and they're working on the very issues that IBM engineers are, are tackling. But how do we sustain energy and avoid wasting energy and so the kids began to look at ways in which they use energy throughout the day and one of these young learners said well you know I think I can start by turning my nightlight off when I don't need it and that may sound simple but for a preschool or a kindergartner to start thinking about things in that way uh, I was visiting an elementary school and a fourth grader came up to me and we were looking at the playground and the playground we had put some material down to absorb a fall and he was talking to me about his conversations with some of the folks at IBM and began to say you know I measured the amount of cushion and the material that's being used and actually think we'd be better served by using this material which is going to last longer it's less costly and it's safer and this is coming out of a fourth grader. And so we had this huge building and space for lots of kids and we renovated it to become Spark Discovery Learning Center. When we first broached the idea, some people thought we were kind of crazy for thinking about uh, uh, dealing with kids such, at such a young age. Um, but the, the K2 uh, was a unique aspect uh, that we thought, well, let's reach out to these children and see what we can do with them and get them excited about math, science, STEM, high-tech careers and by designing the innovation for a smarter planet to show them real-world experiences and reasons for why this is important. There are many jobs in Colorado and many other states that are currently going unfulfilled. Uh, not that we don't want to fill them, it's that we can't find the skills. So it's a way of starting to create interest at a young age with these children. And so we opened, I think, the first STEM preschool in the state of Colorado. We, there aren't a whole lot of STEM preschools nationally. And students are very excited. Uh, they love the technology. And uh, we opened the door. We had the devices on the table, 50 of them. These little kindergarten, first, second grade students kind of nudged us out of the way, walked right up, picked them up, and started using them. Some had never seen the devices before. They intuitively knew, and we had to experience that with them. When you see an IBM engineer sitting on the floor with a kindergartner and designing a prototype together, you know you've got something.